G'day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. Now if you end up enjoying today's video, please remember to smack that like button real good. Give it a smack down real good. And before we do get into the first gaming news report on today's show, I want to announce something. The winners of the Halo 5 competition. There you go. You guys are the lucky five winners of the five copies of Halo 5. Now the giveaways don't stop there because you may see behind me, I have a Stone Cold Smoking Skull WWE Championship replica belt. That's right. Oh, wait a second. I've got a second one right here. That's right. I've got two championship belts. One of them is for one of you guys to win. Seriously, this is just awesome. Like, look at this. I've got two championship belts. Like, one's there. That one's mine. And then this one's for one of you guys. I, I can't believe it. I've got to thank 2K Games for this. This is just awesome. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys really deserve it. Do you guys deserve it? Hmm? Hmm? What do I... What do I hear? Okay, you guys do deserve it. Yes, 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 Daniel Bryant stuff. So yeah, if you do want to win one of these championship belts, all you have to do is go over to my Twitter account. The giveaway will start tomorrow, so look out for that. And uh, yeah, um, now let's get into the gaming news. And today's gaming news is all about PlayStation at Paris Games Week. They had their conference last night and they announced quite a lot of awesome stuff. Tekken 7 will be coming to the PlayStation 4. I'm not exactly sure about the release date, but they did announce that it will also be available through the VR. You know, the PlayStation VR, the headset that they've announced, that's going to be awesome to play Tekken on, seriously. On top of that, they showed off a bunch of new gameplay for games coming soon, and they showed off a ton of new trailers. Those included No Man's Sky, which was just an amazing video. I can't believe how good this game looks. The Endless Universe is just, just beautiful. I can't wait to explore it. It's going to be amazing. Next up, one of the big things they also showed off was Uncharted 4. They showed off the multiplayer, which will actually be in 60 frames per second at 900p. I honestly think that's pretty good, especially this game looks that good. You won't even notice that it's not full 1080. It's going to be a beautiful game. The single player, the multiplayer, all of it's just going to be amazing. Another game they showed off was Matterfall, which they just showed a trailer, and honestly, I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't know what to think of it just yet. We're going to have to see a lot more from the game until I give a proper opinion, I guess. And that also also goes to the other thing they showed off, which was the PlayStation VR. They showed off a brand new trailer and some new gameplay stuff for it. And honestly, I think these trailers are a bit weird because, yeah, I don't know what to really think of them. They're like, they're, they're cool, but they're just a bit weird, I guess. But one cool thing with the PlayStation VR is something that they also announced is that Gran Turismo Sport, a brand new Gran Turismo game, will be compatible with the VR, which is just going to be amazing. A racing game like Gran Turismo with that is going to be crazy good. Finally, another thing that really caught my eye from their showcase was a game called Detroit. This game basically revolves around an android named Kara and I'm not going to give you too much. You should actually check out the video and everything I talked about in today's video is in the description down below. I've basically summed up the cool parts of their conference that was last night or in the early hours of morning for us Australians and honestly there was quite a lot of stuff in there but if you do want to check out the full show it's also available in the description down below. But anyway that is it guys. If you want to win one of the championship belts all you have to do is go over to my Twitter. It's going to be all tomorrow and uh, yeah good luck on that, but now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, and the question is, what unreleased game are you looking forward to most and why? So, put your answer in the comment section down below, and you could end up on the next show, but if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack that like button real good, because I'm Champ Chong, my accent's Australian, and here are the answers to Gorilla Man's previous question.